Nola Gent here at Two Tonys. Great stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we visit Two Tonys for our Italian restaurant review videos to experience the good stuff in here with their fantastic New Orleans Creole Italian food. Two Tonys is located in the West End area of New Orleans at 8536 Pontchartrain Boulevard, which is about 15 minutes and 8 miles away from the French Quarter. Two Tonys originally opened in 1987 in the French Quarter, then the restaurant moved to Bucktown in 1993, and after Hurricane Katrina, they relocated to their current location in West End. And as you see, they've got a lot of stuff here right on the front porch. They've got some of their specials right here on the board. Then they have the mandatory placemat with their name on it. And then we have another name above the door and some nice looking metal work. And then they even have a little Two Tonys mechanical boat ride for the kids. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. This New Orleans Italian restaurant is noted for their great lunch and dinner specials and it is very popular for their delicious New Orleans Creole Italian food. And they've got a nice bar here in the front with some more noted food items on this board inside. And this is a really generous sized bar. And then they have a main dining room right here to the right with lots of tables. So you've got a pretty good amount of space to spread out if you need to, but this place will fill up fast during dinner time and there'll be a wait outside of people waiting to get in. So you might want to make reservations for that. And then they have a private dining room here in the back and there were some people getting ready for a meeting when I was there in Big Tony's room. Well, let's check out the menu now. So we have Italian po' boys with meatball, breaded Italian chicken breast, Italian sausage, penne veal, Italian fried eggplant, New Orleans own Sicilia muffalata, and then we have favorite po' boys with roast beef debris, hamburger, grilled chicken breast, blackened chicken breast, Creole hot sausage, grilled chicken Caesar po' boy, then we have Louisiana seafood po' boys with shrimp, catfish, crawfish, Louisiana style stuffed crab cake, oyster, grilled or blackened shrimp, combo shrimp, oyster and catfish, grilled golf fish, and Tony's Buffalo Black and Shrimp Po' Boy, and large Kaiser bun available on request. On the next menu, we have appetizers with Italian fried artichoke hearts, fried eggplant, fried zucchini sticks, grilled shrimp, crab meat stuffed mushrooms, fried calamari, onion rings, seafood au gratin, and we have soups and gumbo with seafood gumbo, Chicken andouille, gumbo, spicy, baked French onion, soup of the day. Then we have salads with house specialty Italian salad, Caesar salad, shrimp remoulade, grilled yellowfin tuna salad, Romano crusted chicken salad, grilled or blackened chicken salad, grilled or blackened shrimp salad, seafood salad, mixed green salad, Mediterranean salad. And then we have seafood platters with shrimp, oysters, catfish, Louisiana stuffed crab cakes, soft shell crab, combination seafood, oysters and crab cakes. Then we have fresh catch with grilled goldfish of the day, grilled yellowfin tuna steak, redfish, pasta favorites, spicy shrimp fettuccine, crawfish fettuccine, fettuccine alfredo, capellini aglio shrimp pasta mediterranean, Sicilian marinara favorites, lasagna, chicken breast parmesan, veal parmesan, meatballs, Italian sausage, manicotti, zucchini parmesan, eggplant parmesan. Then we have specialty dishes served with soup of the day or dinner salad and your choice of one side item. Montalbano, penne dill or chicken topped with mozzarella cheese and a rich Creole mushroom and ware sauce. Matcha train, penne dill or chicken topped with sauteed Louisiana crawfish shells and a roasted red pepper cream sauce. Eggplant, crab meat and shrimp au gratin. Fried eggplant medallions topped with a rich sauce of shrimp and crab meat, baked with sharp cheddar and Italian bread crumbs. So I started out with this seafood gumbo and they also brought some crackers and butter. And you know I need to add a little Tabasco sauce in here to get it up to the proper spice level the way I like it. And there is a nice little uh, selection of seafood in here. I see some shrimp and there's some crab meat in here. Now let's go ahead and sample the flavor and see how it is. Ooh, all right, here we go. It smells good and 
and it's got nice flavors in here. So it's a good roux and the shrimp is very nice in here. I think only got two big shrimp and then there's some crab in here. We'll keep uh, stirring around and see what else we find in here. Mm. Oh, there's another shrimp. There we go. So it's always good to have more seafood than less. And it's all very nicely flavored with every bite. So I'm getting a good combination of items in here. Ooh, there's some big uh, old chunks of some stuff here. It could be some additional tasty items. A little bit more rice than I would prefer, but overall it's pretty good. So now here's my last bite. And here we go. So just like I totally destroyed that gumbo, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the gumbo. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account. You can say I work for tips and appreciate any assistance with that. So next up, they brought me out some bread and more butter. And then my entree ride, and I got the veal parmesan. I have to say, I immediately noticed it was a little uh, lacking in the sauce. So... They certainly could have been more generous with the sauce pour. And this is a bit of a paltry amount of red gravy on here. Now the veal is a pretty nice size actually, and they put a good amount of uh, red gravy on that. So I'm not quite sure why I didn't get more of it on the spaghetti. Although I probably could have asked for more, but since I'm filming, I wanted to show it to you the way it came out and I'll have to suffer through my lack of uh, red sauce. Ah, uh, I do love a lot of red gravy on top of my pasta. Okay, here we go. First bite of the veal. And it's very tender and nice. Ooh, it looks more tender to slice. And it has great veal flavors. And that cheese and sauce on it go very well together. It has a perfectly fried crust on the outside. And then the veal inside is just absolutely delicate, tender, delicious. Now we're going to try to uh, sample a little of our pasta here. Now um, it's sticking together a little bit, so I wouldn't mind a little olive oil on it maybe too to kind of make it uh, a little easier to get some uh, smaller strands of the spaghetti noodles. But it looks like I'm going to have to do some larger serving sizes as uh, the noodles are all sticking together. So I'm not going to be able to be all dainty and delicate with uh, getting smaller bites apparently because this uh, spaghetti really is wanting to stick together and not do smaller bites. So uh, it's going to be large hearty Italian bites. Here we go. New Orleans style serving. Ooh, there we go. That's uh, quite a large bite there. So um, I would certainly like way more red sauce on each and every bite of that spaghetti, of course. All right, time for a little uh, extra flavor with the veal, and mm, every bite of the veal is certainly pleasurable. It's got very nice flavors. I really enjoy every little morsel of the veal that I'm eating. So they certainly cook the veal well here. Most of the New Orleans Creole Italian places serve uh, thinner veal, uh, but you never really know what the thickness of your veal parmesan is going to be. There's been a pretty decent variety of thicknesses, and uh, there's also some really amazing thick veal chops served at some of the restaurants, so that's an amazing steak to also try. But typically, the veal parmesan will be within this range of uh, on the thin side, typically. Time for a little more of the spaghetti, and ooh, these noodles definitely are uh, not cooperating, but getting me a smaller serving size. They all certainly want to get together and stay in a large clump of the serving size. And I think more red gravy on top would probably have greatly lessened that issue, because in my theory of the world, Red sauce makes everything better regardless, because more sauce to me is always preferable to less sauce. I am an absolute sauce addict. It actually looks like I might even get through this entire meal without spilling any of this red sauce on my clothes at all. Ah, uh, this, this is really unfortunate. I should be splattered at least on my shirt and pants by now with a little bit of red gravy. <laughs> Gonna be way too neat. Gonna have a little bit of a mess when you eat some uh, veal parmesan like this. 
All right, I'm gonna get really wild and crazy, try a little combo bite here with veal and pasta. Okay, so we sort of made that work. We still have a few more opportunities that we can improve our technique, so let's dive back down in here and get to work again and see if we can improve our combo ability to get some spaghetti. Oh, we got a little piece on there. So we are getting a little improvement in our combo skills. Now I'm really sad, I've only got one bite of veal left, so I'm gonna eat this one on its own to fully enjoy it, and ah, very nice veal, I really enjoyed that. Now we have all of this pasta that needs more sauce on it. We will uh, do our best to combine the little bit of remaining sauce that we have to make this a nice, pleasant eating experience. So let's see what I can do here with my pasta twirling skills. Okay, so we've got this serving down, and we should be able to get the remainder here pretty quickly. There's only a tiny little bit of sauce left to work with, so let's see what I can do with my magic spin technique to maximize the remainder of the sauce and the noodles to get them as coated with a little bit of sauce as I can. And we are getting down to very short noodles now. So I don't know how my spin technique is going to continue to work now with little tiny short noodles, but we will be able to maybe get them on the fork here. And I think we're about ready to make a launch. There we go. I think we've got all the noodles on the plate. So one last bite of the noodles. And I think we can safely say we've now totally destroyed this plate of veal parmesan. So destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about the veal parmesan. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Now I'm gonna get a little bread, we're gonna uh, get a little butter here, and they do have real butter, not margarine. That is something that makes me really happy. So the real butter here is gonna make everything taste better. So we'll put a little of this butter on the bread. We're gonna get it all prepped up and spread the butter around and then we can maximize the remainder of the sauce that's still in here because I can't leave any sauce on the plate. I'm gonna totally, absolutely destroy every last bite of sauce I can because it's really delicious. My only sad regret of this meal is they just didn't put enough red gravy on top of my pasta, so that's the only area that could be improved. So, to Tony's, make sure that you always put way more sauce, especially on my pasta. So, the total for my meal was $30.19 before tip. So, thanks so much to everybody at Two Tony's for many years of great food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could remember just to share this video with any of your friends or contacts, I would enjoy it. It really would help me and I really do appreciate it. So make sure you tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Gent channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.